Welcome to your favorite game of answers and questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Hopefully the categories are close to the other side. Categories are... We have the 1970s, that was, five, that was 50 years ago. Musical instruments, hmm, okay. We have health and medicine, all right. Travel and tourism, okay, good, good, good. Artists, and we're going to close it out with TV trivia. Make a selection. Well, I see a, a, tra a travel and tourism category, in which that well, sometimes it deals with geography, and I'm good at that. But I think I'm going to start with artists for 100. Rufino Tomeo painted murals for UNESCO and for the 1967 Expo, Expo in this city. 1967 Expo in this city. Um, I'm going to say what is Paris. Sorry. It's not Paris. Anyone else? Not off to a good start here. It was Montreal. Select again. In, in Quebec, Canada. Artist 200. His last work was a huge red and black mobile, now hanging in the National Gallery of Arts East Wing. Oof. Oh, I got nothing on this one. <laughs> Let's see if Madi has a clue. Is it Pablo Picasso? No, sorry. It was not Picasso. Anyone else? If I were to buzz in, I'd say Salvador Dali. Alexander Kolb, I would have been wrong. Pick again. Artist 300. Answer the Daily Double. Of 35, 350, or 3,500, the number of surviving canvases by Jan Vermeer. I'm going to say what is 350. That's a correct response. Yes! Select again. Our stormer. Predecessors of this movement associated with Dali were Dada and the early works of De Chirico. What is surrealism? That's right. All right. Select again. Artist 500. American painter Lee Krasner was married to this action painter who died in 1956. Oof. This one I got Zippo. But does Madi have an idea? Was it Jackson Pollock? Right. It was Jackson Pollock. All right. Make a selection. The way the lacing is arranged on this type of instrument adds tension to the head. Okay. I'll just say, what is a, what is a drum? You got it. Okay. Make a selection. Mr. Lester is for 200. Or the 1970s 200. Major League Baseball returned to Milwaukee when the Seattle Pilots became this team. Uh, Milwaukee, the the Brewers. You got it. Select again. Uh, let me have musical instruments for two hundred, please. The helicon, a type of this large instrument, has circular coiling. The helicon, a large, a type of this large instrument, has circular coiling. I'm going to say, what is a tuba? Right. Okay. Select again. Uh, Miss Glossary for three hundred, The double reed of this bat of this bass woodwind is on the end of a curved metal tube set into the tenor joint. I'm going to say, what is a clarinet? Mm. 
No. Um, let's try what is a saxophone. No. The double reed of this bass instrument, of this bass woodwind, is on the end of a curved bell tube set into the... It's not a clarinet, it's not a saxophone. What's a... Flute? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? No. Maybe it's a bassoon. Oh, crap. Pick again. My second guess would have been right. Oh, well. This goes for 400. The syrinx, a set of simple flutes of different lengths, is also called this, after a Greek god. What is the pan... The pan pipes? You got it. Oh, wow. Select again. This goes for 500, please. Instrument featured in John Cage's HP SCHD. Oops, whatever. I'm gonna say what is a harpsichord. Oh, food. Right. Food. Select again. Um, let me have Health and Medicine 100, please. Two methods for administering artificial resuscitation are mouth to mouth and mouth to this. Mouth to mouth and mouth to... I don't know. Nose, okay. Select again. Uh, 200. To speed a difficult birth, a doctor may use this grasping instrument to extract the child. Oh, God, I don't know. Four sets. Select again. During cataract surgery, this part of the eye is replaced with an artificial one. I'm going to say, what is the retina? No, sorry. Ah. Anyone else? It's not the retina. Looking for the lens. Pick again. Uh, 400. Term for the wasting away of a muscle due to immobilization. I got Zippo. Tinnitus? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Trophy. Select again. It's the field of medicine that studies the causes, development, and treatment of cancer. What is pathology? No. What is oncology? That's right. There we go. Select again. The 1970s for 100. In 1977, Anwar Sadat made a historic visit to this country where he addressed the Knesset. What is Israel? Right. The 1970s Select again. In May 1977, it made its last regular run from Paris to Istanbul. What is the Orient Express? Right. 1970s for four. Select years. again. In 1979, Jerry Falwell founded this political action group. I don't know. The right wing? I doubt it. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? The moral 
majority. You got it. Oh, okay. Make a selection. I do not. In 1960, James Garner sued to get out of his contract for this Western and won. What is Maverick? You got it. TV trivia for two. Make a selection. This series was based on a book by Geraldine Saunders about her experiences as a cruise hostess. What is the love boat? You got it. Select again. 300, please. National Beauty title once held by Murphy Brown character Corky Sherwood. National Beauty title once held by Murphy Brown character Corky Sherwood. What is Miss... I'll just say it was Miss America. That's right. Oh, wow. Select again. This dog on Rocky and his friends invented the WAB, the Wayback Machine. Who is uh, Peabody? Mr. Peabody? That's a correct response. Oh, good. Select again. Close it out, please. This Sally Field series was set in Puerto Rico. Uh, what is the Flying Nun? You got it. All right. Select again. Uh, the 1970s for 500, please. In 1975, John Paul Stevens took over the Supreme Court seat of this man, who retired after 36 and a half years. Oof. Once again, I got Zippo. Earl Warren? I thought he came around in the 40s. Wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyone else? I think Earl Warren came around near the 40s or 50s. William O. Douglas. Pick again. All that's left is travel and tourism. 100. Tourists can view the changing of the guard at the Citadel in this walled Canadian city. What is Montreal? Sorry, wrong. It's Anyone else? Montreal. It's Quebec City. That's right. Make a selection. Oh, well. These gardens near the Louvre were designed in the 1600s by André Le Notre. The Tuileries? The Tuileries Gardens? I think that's right. You got it. Yeah. Select again. Oh, well. Paul Revere Mall, a park in this city, has bronze tables honoring the people of the North End. What is Boston? Right. 400. Make a selection. This capital's ring strassi, which is shaped like a horseshoe, begins and ends at the Danube Canal. What is Vienna? That's right. Select again. Now the last clue. St. George's Hall in this British city on the Mercy River is renowned for its Greco-Roman architecture. Okay, I'm thinking it's... I don't think it's in Scotland. I think it's in England. I don't believe it's London. It's either Coventry or Liverpool. Liverpool. My second guess was right. All right, it's time now for the double Jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. Let's hope the categories and clues are on my side. Categories are... 
20th century women, business and industry, animals, hodgepodge, women authors, and we're going to close it out with Shakespeare. No Make a selection. These arachnids transmit Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. What are not scorpions? Uh, these arachnids. What are spiders? No. Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Um. Mosquitoes or ticks? What are ticks? Right. Oh, good. Make a selection. Uh, think hodgepodge for 400. This Houston University is named for a cotton merchant, not a grain merchant. What is Rice University? That's right. Hodgepodge for 600. Select again. John Lucier didn't use a barrel. He was the first to go over these in a giant rubber ball. What are the Niagara Falls? You got it. Select again. Hodgepodge 800. Answer. A daily double. <laughs> answer right. With the exception of the Tennessee, Alabama's rivers flow toward this gulf. What is the Gulf of Mexico? Right. Yes! Select again. This retailer told a story in a 1992 book subtitled Made in America. Who is Sam Walton? You got it. Yes. Select again. Found in Walmart. Uh, let's see. Women authors, Shakespeare, 20th century women, business industry. I like animals for 200. This masked North American mammal is related to the giant and lesser pandas of Asia. Uh, what is a, what is the raccoon? That's right. Select again. Animals for 400, please. This African river mammal's tusks were once used for false teeth because they didn't yellow. Uh, what is the hippopotamus? You got it. Select again. I'll take animals for 600. The other daily double. This Australian dog rarely barks, but howls like a coyote. What is the dingo? Right. Yes. Select again. The Adeli species of this bird was named for the wife of French explorer Dumont Durville. There are no more daily doubles up there, by the way. And I have a runaway lead with thirteen thousand dollars, and they're going for the penguin. Right. Make a selection. In Twelfth Night, the Duke of Illyria says, If this be the food of love, play on. What is music? That's right. Shakespeare for 400, please. Make a selection. First name shared by Richard III's wife and Shakespeare's wife. Who's Anne? Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Oh, I think I forgot the E. It's okay, don't worry about Make it. Make a selection. Shakespeare 600. She says the raven himself is forced that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. 
Who is Lady Macbeth? That's right. Shakespeare. Andrew Select again. Acts two, one and two of Henry V are mostly set in England. The rest of the play unfolds in this country. What is France? That's right. Shakespeare, one Select again. Achilles slays the unharmed Hector near the end of this tragedy. Achilles slays the unarmed Hector, the unarmed Hector near the end of this tragedy. I'm gonna try this one. What is Othello? Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? Not Othello. Troilus and Cressida? That's a correct response. Make a selection. She was born Agatha Mary Clarissa Miller in Torquay, England in 1890. Who's Agatha Christie? That's a correct response. Make a selection. Open authors for 400, please. This author of Valley of the Dolls appeared in more than 20 Broadway productions as an actress. Who wrote Valley of the Dolls? I, I, I forget this one. The author's name was Jacqueline Suzanne. Make a selection. Women author 600. Alice B. Topless translated her 1938 book Picasso into English. Gertrude uh, Stein? You got it. Make a selection. Heidegger and Phillips are headquartered in this European country. What is Germany? Or no, what is the Netherlands instead? That's a correct response. Make a selection. This is an industry for 400. Founded as a milk producer in 1866, it added Nescafe and Nest Tea to its line in this century. What is Nestle? That's right. Select again. Business and Industry 600. In 1984, Hallmark bought Binney and Smith, makers of this brand of crayon. What is Crayola? That's right. Business and Industry 800. Select again. Among the artifacts found in this chain's restaurants are Elvis's motorcycle and Ringo Starr's snare drums. Uh, what is the Hard Rock Cafe? You got it. Business and Industry 1000. Select again. This company's chips supply the brains for all for about 85% of all desktop computers. I'd say IBM, but I don't know. Intel. Pick again. Okay. Uh, animals of thousands. The population of this fish-eating hawk fell in the 1960s due to pesticides, but has grown since then. And we're looking for the osprey. Pick again. Uh, women authors in here, please. Though Danish, she wrote her works like Out of Africa in English. Who is Isaac Dennison? 
one would always say their name wrong, but as long as they spell it right. That's right. And I did. Select again. Let's close it up. She was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize for her 1985 novel, The Accidental Tourist. I know there's a movie called The Accidental Tourist, but as for the novel, I do not remember. Is it Ann Tyler? That's right. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Make a selection. That one. All that's left is 20th century women. She was elected president of India's Congress Party in 1959 while her father was prime minister. I'm going to say who is Indira Gandhi. You got it. 400. Make a selection. For work on the biochemistry of cell growth, Rita Levi Montalcini won this medicine prize in 1986. What is the Nobel Peace Prize? That's right. Uh, Select again. After her husband's impeachment, Miriam Ma Ferguson was elected governor of this state in 1924. Oh, foop. I got nothing. And we're looking for Texas. Pick again. Oh, it was Texas, my home state? Son of a biscuit. This folk singer and anti-war activist is nicknamed the Queen of Protest. Oh, foop. I have a hunch who it could be, but I am not confident enough to buzz in. Joan Baez? I would have been right. Pick again. Oh, well. The financial dealings of her husband, John Zaccaro, caused controversy during her run for vice president. <laughs> Heck, fun, up. But either way, this is a locked game, and I cannot be caught. And it was Geraldine Ferraro. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. The category for Final Jeopardy is going to be stars. How much am I going to wager? I'm only going to wager $200. And your Final Jeopardy answer is... It's the nearest star to Earth. What is the sun? Let's see if our contestants were successful. What did you put down as your response? No, I'm sorry, the that's Alpha wrong. No. You got it. Yep, so I'm going to end up with $17,000 this game. That's a great game. A great total right there. You got it. All right. Great game. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We will, Alex. Thanks, players. Good game. Come everybody. on, everybody. Let's do it again real soon.